Um, then we went to our Walgan Cave. We found uh, the first lake down to the right hand side. Um, got quite excited because it looked really promising. Um, however, it was just uh, four or five metres deep and all silty and shitty and didn't go anywhere. And then um, as the guys were looking around the main entrance chamber, Dean, Dean said, oh, there's another lake over here. Paul should try this one. And I got in there with my snorkeling gear and could immediately see that there was a hole in the bottom off to the left, down at a, a few metres depth and through into a dark, I duck dive down, I could see and through, through into a dark room. So back out, set up the three litre cylinders and all I had was a jump reel and uh, tied off, went down through this uh, hole and then found myself in a, a sort of a big uh, room about uh, seven or eight metres cubed and that went from a couple of metres depth down to about nine, nine metres depth and at that point there was a floor hole just the uh, rocky rubble. I had to I think I had to move a couple of rocks just to uh, clear the way through. And then I dropped. I was on the limit of my little uh, uh, jump reel by this point, and I just had enough room to stick my head down the hole and see that there was a low flat passage there, which was fantastic because a lot of uh, cave diving in Urina Cave is um, low flat labyrinth type passages so I thought wow that's that's just great I wasn't expecting much more than that so that was it for that uh, day we uh, had a long day bushwalking hard work and then we went on to do other caves so the next trip um, the next visit to our Walgan Cave was at the end of that trip when I was I was on my own and I was on my way back to Perth and I had a few days up my sleeve and uh, I, I decided to come down here and um, walk a pair of sevens in and um, with a with a decent reel and see how that went. So um, I walked my sevens in and um, uh, set myself up, got in there, reeled down, went down to the previous point of looking at the low and and I was sort of committed myself that this was all, it was one metre high, very silty floor. I knew as soon as I got into that stuff it was going to be game over with silt billowing everywhere so I was only going to get a limited opportunity to explore this low flat stuff so I thought I'd look at the round the perimeter of this room first and I followed the left hand wall which is rocky and there was a, a slot going up into a dark space and uh, I went up up into this slot and um, the whole blackness is this massive uh, sort of room there which was really exciting the only thing I could see was this single rock sticking up out of the black out of the dark brown silt about um, well, about eight, eight or nine meters away from me so I swam over to it tied off and then I got, had the good look around and realized I was in a 